I think I, I mean, I've always loved sports and was really interested in, in being involved in sports in some manner. Um, but I wanted to be a, an athletic trainer. I uh, went to college and started doing, doing majoring in that and, and working with that. I thought I want to work with athletes. Uh, and then over the course of time, um, you know, as, as we, we looked a little bit uh, at course schedule and, and class and, and I started uh, interacting with volleyball a bit, uh, then I coached a, a, a club team, a 14-year-old club team with one of my teammates, and I really liked to see the growth and, and the progression of, of setting a practice plan up and, uh, and working and, and seeing, seeing what it starts with and what it ends with from a team aspect. So I really enjoyed that, that portion of it, and uh, yeah, that was it for me that, that, that I changed my major to phys ed and health. Um, thought I wanted to teach and coach, uh, and then as I worked with uh, the recruiting and the, the higher level training and, and uh, you know from from all the those aspects um, that's that's when I kind of decided I wanted to coach in college and, and we did the graduate assistant route and that turned into assistant position and uh, that led to the position here at Bluffton uh, 13 years ago. I was a played a di couple different sports soccer and basketball and golf uh, and you know I just I just love the competitiveness and being around a team and uh, you know, there, there were some sports that I excelled at and others that I was a role player and, and so I've, I've experienced everything from, from being a starter to being one of the last guys on the bench and, and, and just the whole realm of, of what sports are all about. I really, really enjoyed that and, uh, you know, had respect for my coaches that pushed me in, in different sports and so I probably, probably not one in particular, it's just I think my passion for sports and being competitive and um, building something. You know, that's a, that's, that's a tough one. Uh, I think I think when the team plays really really well um, and, and they they get in sync with each other um, and, and so some of our, our years uh, you know where we we played very well and had successful seasons um, but there are there are other times too when the team's developing and you see a lot of growth into where what you're doing in practice plays out on on the competition uh, floor and and that's that's where the neat part comes in when the team starts doing it themselves and what you're trying to accomplish uh, you know and I would say also as players go on and coach and in my coaching tree expands a little bit um, that's pretty cool as part of Bluffton's going to other high schools and colleges and and uh, you know they're sharing how we do things and and the team concept and and that's fostering growth in other places and and, and who knows, maybe one of their players end up coming uh, to Bluffton and that's happened already, so that's great. Uh, so I'm a local guy from uh, Miller City, uh, about 35 uh, minutes away. Um, my sister's a, a Bluffton uh, college graduate. Um, I had family in the area here and so, so I grew up, uh, you know, local here and, uh, uh, you know, had, had some ties here and, and it was just, just a fit. I, I was the assistant at Finley at the time. and. Uh, Put my name in the ring when I was uh, 24, um, and, and got hired here shortly after I turned 25, and uh, got married at the end of that year, and uh, we moved to Bluffton, and the, and the rest is history. Get involved, uh, see if you can help out in, in any way. Um, a lot of times there's there's connections, uh, making connections from knowing a coach that knows somebody somewhere else that they happen to know somebody that that needs a graduate assistant position. Uh, if you want to work at the, the collegiate level, um, that's the way to go about it, is, is to try to network. And, and sometimes it, in certain sports, it takes longer than others um, to get to that end goal. Uh, but, but soak it up, see different coaching styles. There's more than one way to skin a cat. And there's, a, there's not one way that's the right way. Um, and as you start to make those, uh, I don't know, evaluations and see how different people do it, you're gonna formulate your own coaching philosophy. And, and style and uh, be true to yourself of, of who you are and um, the rest will take care of itself. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you want to see more of our awesome content, go ahead and click a, to the subscribe button right at the top corner. And if you want to see our previous video, go ahead and click the card down here. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.